All right, guys, thank you for joining here today. We're going to go ahead and start our match versus Spray Ops and on Haunted over here on Port. You did see a match here earlier today. We're going to be joined here by Eric, is actually going to go ahead and give some commentary in here, and also Slick Rick, of course. Um, Bruce is taking a little break here, so we're going to go ahead and open up here. Undaunt is going to be on Blacklist side, and right now they're going to go ahead and kind of be a little passive here. Not too much going on at the moment. Arthur's going to get a little lit up here on um, B Long as he's going to interface with two guys there. It looks like they will be playing smart, keeping the C4 back in this spawn area, waiting till they get a pick. They don't want to leave that C4 in any, any kind of position where they're going to put themselves in danger. Very interesting to see. GR team's going to be pushing out aggressive on Long B, going to go ahead and be at the spawn now. Louie is going to go ahead and be there, going to get that pick on ZZXQ. Going to get taken out there by Delaco. 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 I don't know why I can never say his name. <laughs> it's all right. You, you know what? You, you, you can't say it wrong and you can't say it right, so it's okay. But Drell is just going to be taking out Del Chaco, putting him down on his bridge. What a tasty treat that was. 1v2 situation. Um, I'm down to down, and it looks like... They're going to both come from CT spawn. Lamb is going to interface with him, too. He's going to get one of the Oh, my God. Oh, no. Wow. Very nice job by Hero there. Undaunt is going to get the first round there to start off the first half. 1-0. Oh. I honestly was about to criticize that play. He pushed out a little bit too aggressively for my taste, but it did work in his favor. Agreed. I mean, I wouldn't agree. I would not have done that, and it's not, you know, sometimes these things work, sometimes they don't. And I guess it's more just probability. Will this work or not? And it doesn't. But Lamb is going to go ahead and be long here. Here is going to pick up two frags against them, and Drell's also going to pick up another one. Oh, going to get another three frags from here at long A. Lamb doing work at A site. Michael going to be by himself. Looks like a possible Klein error on his part. Yep, Michael's going to get a Klein error there. Delico tried to sneak his way out and pick up that bomb, but it just was not going to happen. He had nowhere to go. And it appears they will be trying to take a strong B, although B tons is completely covered by Louie and IPs. Not sure what they're going to be doing here, as, you know, one of their players is to Klein error, but all are back in here to make it 5v5. About two minutes on the clock now. Looking to work a pick here in mid, ZZXQ Bomb, pushing up by himself, not the smartest idea. He's going to interface with two guys here in Connector. Oh, we're not sure what Brawl was doing because he didn't take even one shot on him. My piece is going to take him out, though, in the Connector. Looks like we're losing the players. Possibly a restart on the match due to the technical errors that they're facing in Crossfire. So let's see what's going on. And we apologize for any convenience, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get this right back up. And it looks like all the players are back in here. The game is tied right now, 1-1. Both players agreeing, I guess, to restart the match. Not sure exactly what's going on there. A little confused, a little hard when our end we're just on the mumble server. But um, we're gonna go ahead and start again here for the first half. I'm not sure if this is going to be one one or we're gonna restart the whole match as a whole. Yeah, no, all it together. is. It is going to be one one. They are gonna play two six, and whoever makes it two six, that'll be the end of the first half. Alrighty, we're gonna see here. How this is going to go. Del looks like we're going to see a full A push. Bombin's a little delayed back there in mid. ZZXQ kind of playing off by himself. Not recommended here. Just for the fact being, it's kind of delayed. Look, he's the bomb. No, I, I don't like that. The bomb is way too far back off of sight. And ZZXQ is going to be way too delayed off sight. And now you see his teammates are going to get taken out, make it a 4v3 situation. Slick, what do you have your thoughts on this? Um, actually, I, I was I was going to say that that was a smart move, keeping them back, just not too far back, because they couldn't get that bomb down in time, and they had absolutely no hold over the A site. Uh, yeah, I would definitely. Lou is going to go ahead and try to get a pick off there on ZZX. He's going to miss. He had the shot, but Arthur's going to take him out, make it a two v two situation. Now it looks. Like Undaunted is now going to make his way towards B side. P's is lit up over here on A with only 16 HP. A's with 95. Not too bad here. ZZXQ is lit up with 24 HP. Arthur, 90. So I bet I, right now it's very equal play for both teams. Um, 2v2 situation. Bob's going to go ahead and get planted down here at B site. And they're going to go ahead and now rotate over from CT spawn. And this is going to be interesting to see how it's played out last round. You know, we saw a little bit of a little over aggressive peak that worked for Spray Ops. But let's see if it'll work for them again. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why they gave 
the T side, that B spawn, or the, the B area, uh, they blatantly saw them rotating through, uh, as you said, they tried to take a few shots on ZZXQ, I'm not quite sure what player that was, I think it was IPs. So he saw the rotation, he knew they were going A, but they just let them have that B side. When as you can see here, you know, Arthur did have a little over aggressively peak, but the shot was there, so he's going to take out two there from CT spawns and give him another round here on black, on T side. Nice shot by Spray Up to get the mom down and to rotate back to site. Looks like we're having a little bit of lag on my behalf. I don't know if that's anyone else. Nope, that's nope. me too. It's all the players there. It must be a connection error over there at LAN. We'll have to see what is going on here. Well, the score right now is 2-1. Uh, Undaunted, I believe. And uh, we're having a little bit more technical uh, difficulties. Oh, the LAN lost connection, guys. Yeah, the LAN connection... The land connection seems to have gone out, guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, go on to a little break here, and we'll be back with you guys in just a bit.
All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and give you another question here. We apologize for the technical difficulties, and we still have not received any information on what is going on, but it looks like here on Mumble that the teams are coming back in. So we'll be back just with you in just a second. But we have a question for you, so get your chat box ready. How many tokens does it take to receive the Revival of the Fittest ribbon? Please type that in chat when you know the answer, and we'll go ahead and give you your uh, coupon. All right, JGX421, you're going to go ahead and receive that coupon, and you will receive that through the stream from Eric. Uh, you will get your code there. You can re redeem that courtesies of Z8Games.com. Uh, we'll be back in just a second, guys. Thanks.
Wait, I'm not even in there. All right, All right. we're live. And uh, we're waiting for David to get in here. He can't speak because he's not in this room, unfortunately, but he will be on his way. We're about to get started here with Undaunted versus Undaunted here. I believe they had a, a one-point lead, and the score was 2-1 and one before. We had a little bit of trouble. Shout-outs to Carnage for tripping over that router. A little bit of technical difficulty here, but we're back, and we're ready to rock and roll. And... All right, I'm starting. Here we go for the start of this match. I believe we're going to start off from the original score of 1-1 one, one or 2-1. However it is decided, we don't know. But as you can see here, we're going to start off here. It looks like we have an aggressive push towards B site. On Dawn. Really? Wow. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I don't believe we can blame this one. Oh, wow. Are we live still? Are we live? It looks like they're coming back. It's all right. All right. Still a little bit of some technical uh, difficulties, but third time is the charm, I believe. Hopefully, we won't have to encounter this again. And again, we are extremely apologetic, ladies and gentlemen, but we will be starting this again. Delico blaming Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and get started again for, a, what, the third time? <laughs> for the first half. And again, we're going to go with an aggressive push towards B site here. Nobody in connector. B site, only one person. We have one guy playing in spawn. The nades were called. And it looks like we're going to have um, the CT guy go ahead and rotate over onto B site. Michael's going to get the athletic frag there. Michael representing Undaunted here, but a player from Lifeline. And it now looks like, uh, oh, excuse me. It looks like they will be trying to get a little bit of advantage here after this wind down. He's seeing three times in a row. Hopefully we won't see that again in Deleco, Delaco, taking out Trell, but Louie taking out Delaco. This is just shots after shots after nice shots. Nice 2k by Arthur. Um, yeah, amazing. There was just so much going on there for a second. I just got a little confused. Um, you know, something that I, that I just, I, you know, when I see players come in, it's just that it's too many 1v1 situations. You know, there has to be more to it other than 1v1v1. It should be, your team should be with you trying to take them out together. A lot of people try to go for the individual frags, and that sometimes just doesn't work, and that's what ends up screwing you over at the end. Yeah, I definitely would be agree. You wouldn't want to get yourself into a 1v1 situation unless, of course, you're, it was luck. But none of these people are. The only one I could say would be close would be Drell. Doing some work for Spray Ops right now. The top fragger. Hopefully he'll stay that way for the rest of the game. And As Hero's he gets taken, taken out, out by Hero. <laughs> Couldn't have been a better time to say that, but they are realizing that there's another player, possibly in his B side, just holding it down. So the rest of the team will be playing a little bit slower, but it is a 4v3 situation at this moment. Right now, it looks like Andrade is going to take their way, make their way towards B long, and uh, possibly going to take a B take. Um, right now, we have Louis here on B site by himself. He has his teammates there at spawn to help him out. They're going to be spotted. Here was going to, or Michael's going to open up uh, with a frag there on Lamb though. Louis going to try to take out one here. As he's going to get flanked from behind though, and that's what's going to happen. Well, actually, Delico gets him through the box, I correct him. Um, IP's going to be by himself, 100 HP, 1v3 situation, all by himself. And it looks and like Michael's Arthur just... will be playing inside that happy box area, but... Michael actually got him there for spawn, nice job there, to play playing unexpectedly. And he's going to get that round 4 undaunted, now it's going to be 2-0. Spray Ops definitely looking, is going to definitely want a round here. They don't want to start off 3-0. They need to build that momentum that Bruce is always talking about. You know, we need to build momentum, and that gets your team driving to move forward. Nice nade onto... Oh, it didn't do any damage, though, to Michael there. Thought it did. But that's how Crossfire can work for us sometimes. So, right now, Bomb is pushed up in mid. Michael's here by himself behind this little crate here. And, you know... Not too much going on right now. Very passive playing by an Undaunted. Not an aggressive rush like we have been seeing. And Jaws going to open up in mid. Going to get a frag, but Deleco's going to pick up that uh, frag there. And it's going to make it 4v4 now. Bombs yeah, get picked up. Go for it. And, uh, excuse me. Yeah, but 
as you would say, that momentum is definitely a very big part of the game. It's really hard to do though once you're being DC'd uh, three times in a row. But ZZXQ is going to take out IPs, and that bomb's going to go back to mid, and I think they might try to go for a rotation to the A side here. Yes, it does appear to be so, but they're not ready for land here, playing right outside of this ladder behind these double boxes. Delaco will be taken out by Lamb. One of the important parts is, is you gotta check those corners, and unfortunately, Delico did not do that, and that's why he's gonna get, he got taken out there, but Lamb is gonna get taken out also, make it a 2v1 situation, ZZX is gonna be by himself, 100 HP, Louis is gonna be lit up with only 11 on him, and Ace is with 70, so it's definitely doable for ZZX but it just depends on he's playing him, he's gonna try to make his way from, to A site from Connector, and as you can see, both players are gonna be there, Ace I think spotted him, Louis is gonna go ahead and rotate around also, they're both on the top here. Oh, nice job by Ace to kind of play that crate to use his cover, and he's going to get that, and it's going to make it 2-1. Yeah, Still that definitely, undaunted. That, that definitely was a, a spot by Ace. He spotted him jumping out of that mid-connector, which is not necessarily something you want to do unless you're trying to get some kind of an advantage, getting some kind of view of that upper A. He should have dropped down, took the cover, and then moved on from there. But that is just not what happened in that situation. Right now here you can see Michael's gonna go ahead and open for Fred yet be long here. Gonna go ahead and face off with IP Susan Connect. Oh, he's gonna take out Hero with a nice good corner peek there. And he's gonna get that headshot on Hero. Now it's gonna make it 4v4 situation. Nice job to pick up that frag on long to make the scores even. Bomb is going to be its way towards A. Still looking like, like they were trying to work a pick at A side. Two guys there, Lamb and Ace, are going to try to give him off. So Ace is going to go ahead and take off De Delico and make it 4v3 now. And it wouldn't be too smart of a move. He is rotating back. Arthur knew that he would put his team at a very big disadvantage if he did peek that long A, knowing that it was being watched pretty heavily. And he does have that bomb that would have left it wide open for that team just to... Well, also over there side. on that long A, they definitely needed to peek together, and they weren't doing that, and that's what cost them to lose one guy. But Arthur's going to go ahead and peek over at long B, and P's getting a little bit too happy there. He's going to push off, and now Drell's going to wake his way towards B. As ZZX2 actually is coming behind him, trying to trail there, and Drell doesn't know that he's behind him, but ZZX2 also has no idea that Drell's there on site, so it was like coming from B side anyways. So now it's going to be 3v2 situation. ZZX2 still unaware of where Drell is. Drell's in a this, perfect area. This could be very, very interesting. He will get the 2 -kick. Nice job by Drell. Very nice. Great job. Way to be patient. Wait for his team to come in with him. You know, Drell could have came up, heard them. Hey, they're on site, guys. My team's on the way. But no, he was patient enough to wait for his team. And they're going to pinch them in together. And that's how he got the 2K. Very nice job there by Drell. Yeah, definitely. That, that, that double jump through the corner on that box is definitely a, a, a very strong... And as we can see, it's going to look like it's going to be a five-man push long A. Definitely going to be some interaction here. Draw's going to come up from CT. Lamb's still up top. Lamb's going to hold this pitch on the ladder. Hero's going to come up. Going to take out one. Going to get the 2K at the top. Now it's going to be 4v2 situation. Undaunted. Looking to be good. Delico going to get the 2K to make it 1v3. Not looking too good for spray ops here. As now that he's going to make his way peas with 100 HP in connector. And it's not looking too great for him. If they play their corners right. And on Dodge, should have this. Coming out of this mid connector, the bomb is planted. Will he be able to get this second frag and take out the third one? ZZXQ peaking just at the right time, saving his teammate Arthur from a possible death. We're gonna do some that could have been that could have been very bad, and we will go to the war room. Actually, never mind. No one's in Mumble. <laughs> All right, I guess we won't be going to war room. There's no one in Mumble currently. Apologize for that. Well, here we go with this um, fifth round in. So, right now it's three to two. Undaunted with the lead. Definitely not a far off, though, for Spray Ops. They can definitely come back from this to can get some more rounds here. Definitely an equal match, I believe. Um, you know, the shots in both teams are very similar, and they're doing well. Drell's going to go ahead and try to interact with some guys here in mid, and they're going to favor towards B site this round on Daunted's team. So, they're going to push up here. Louis Little does he know, Delico is right behind that door where he was just shooting and Delico was just waiting for him to rotate out of that area so he could be safe and pop and Delico going to get a frag. Oh, nice 3k by Louis on the barn there to shut them down. All five players alive on Spray Ops' team. Great job there. Great teamwork. Louis did a great job at holding. And he's going to get that 3k again there at B site. Definitely some strong teamwork there. They didn't let Delico get a frag. Ooh, he was nice. in a position. <laughs> And Lamb is just taking out Hero, making him eat that nade like some rice pudding. 
Ooh, Michael gonna do work at the top there, getting the 2k. Now it's a 3v1 situation, always with the 3v1. Nah, correction, 3v, or 1, 2v1. <laughs> and here we go, Louis by himself, 100 HP over at CT area. Not too much that he can do here. Arthur's gonna pick up the bomb. M Arthur and Michael, both life life fellows together here. So, right now we're just up to Louis. It's definitely doable, but let's see how it's played. I think Louis might come into some contact with Michael here. And he Ooh. will get the frag pushing up to the top, but he will not. That was definitely a close call. Michael or Arthur shouldn't have peaked Louis in my opinion, but he did luckily get the frag. It just came down to whose bullets got to him first. But um, very nice try there by Louis, and he did make it a 1v1 situation, but Michael definitely uh, shot him down there at 8. Bunch of nice. Arthur did. And Arthur's actually, so speaking of Arthur, he's gonna get a frag here at B long. Nice frag for them to start off this round. Oh, and Louis is gonna get taken out, or Louis is gonna take out Hero in that process to make it 4v4, same area over here at B long. Arthur playing right outside of spawn here, knowing that Louis is just around that corner and knows outside of those B barns. Wait, excuse me, no, he's inside of B site, pushing back to GR spawn. Louis and IPs are spreading out. Just like butter on some hot toast, making sure that their team will not make it to the site. Louis taking out Delico. Louis gonna be in the 1v2 situation again, in the same situation with the same players. Oh, and he's gonna get peaked by the same time. Nope, no uh, 1v1 situation for Louis this time. He's gonna make it 5 3 in favor of Undaunted. Arthur with a little bit of spray and pay, kind of a panic, but it paid off for him in the long run and his team. And it looks like, just for the fact, I think we do into the 1-1 type thing, and this is going to, or 2-1, um, I believe that this is going to be the uh, round for Undaunted this first half. I want to make sure we'll correct that here right now to make sure that what exactly the score will be for the final first half. I believe it was 7-3, and three, if I'm correct. 7-4. Okay, it was off one. You said it's first half. A little bit of some common sense here, letting us know. I almost thought that we were in the third half, ladies and gentlemen, so it's a, it's a good thing Drell's let us know. Alright, and we will be starting the second one, waiting for these two other people. Waiting for Drell to switch over. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Maybe should pay a little bit more attention to his game. <laughs> than the chat. Um, well, you know what? I didn't, I'm guessing Joe's going to give a little bit of a motivational talk. Hey, guys, let's get this going. Let's keep it going. Hopefully that's what's going on. Maybe he could be yelling at his team. We don't know. But um, Undaunted's definitely going to take that half, seven, seven to four, and uh, spray out is down just a couple rounds. So it's not, it's definitely doable. They're not out of this just yet. And, you know, let's see what spray outs can do. We've seen them play before, and they were only down two rounds in their last game over in Mexico when feigning um, that the... Uh, the the team that likes us a e a e o n k, but um, here we go. We're gonna start the second half here. Let's see if it's doable for spray ops. They're definitely gonna need to start off strong here in the second half. Undaunted versus spray ops. Here we go. Yeah, definitely hoping for spray ops to do a little bit more work than they did in this first half. Playing a little bit stronger. Hopefully they can persevere here on this gr side. But we can only hope. Or excuse me, BL side. It looks like they can go ahead and favor A at the start of the round for spray outs, and Hero's gonna get an easy pick on land. As now that he smokes top, Hero's gonna fall off. They're giving some nice needs over to A site. Nothing's going on too much. Now they're gonna rotate back over. 5v4 situation. Drell leading the down. push. Drell leading, leading the push into this B, B tons area. Looking to try to get Michael through the fence, but he did not see him. And I think they'll try to take this. Drell's watching Delaco push up to this lower. He will not persevere though in that situation. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and see. Bomb is by himself over here at B Long. This is his teammate's gonna come over. Oh, and Michael's gonna take him out. Bomb is down. Four v two situation. Peace is gonna make that peek and take him out. Make it three v two. Guys are both together. B side is open at the moment as the players rotate over to B though, and they're actually going to decide to take the bomb out. Spray ops. Yeah, a little Definitely bit of some game this. sense. A, a little bit of game sense here from the spray ops side. Although Hero took note and realized that they had the three players, so he may as well rotate back to A. 
just to try to catch these players pushing up. IP's looking down that long A. Louie will be taken out by Hero. Or Hero will be taken... Oh, I was right. And it looks like they're both pushing this A side. Trying to get that bomb down. Trying to get a position. And it looks like it will not be good here for IPs. 2v1 situation. This is doable. You know, ZZXQ is only 13 HP. Arthur is 100. Pease is 100 himself. And he has the bomb. 30 seconds left on the clock. Time is kind of pushing down on him. As Arthur is going to make his way towards spawn to be able to assist ZZXQ. But if bomb is down, he can make a quick entry too. So let's see what P Oh, Pease is going to make his way back long A again. ZZXQ is going to fall off. He's definitely thinking that. <laughs> Very nice job. Good call there. Now he's going to be at A site with 10 seconds on the clock. He's going to go ahead and plan it. With oh, oh, barely going to make it here. And Arthur and ZZX2 going to be CT spawn. And P's nice sneak there. Now they have to come to him. And this is going to make it a lot more difficult for him. I don't sure if Arthur just spotted him or not. But they're going to both come from the bridge. And P's is going to play back. He definitely was spotted. Or maybe he's gonna not. Take out. He oh. definitely was not spotted. Arthur in a really bad situation. Oh, very nice try by Peace. Almost caught Arthur, but he didn't know he was right behind ZZXQ, and that's going to give Spunder the one there. 1 0 to start off. Definitely. Yeah, you're, you're lagging a little bit. Definitely um, not quite the smartest thing by Arthur. He should have peeked back in after he got that frag and waited a little bit longer on that C4. Luby here with the C4, taking Ace into these B-tons. Ace taking out Delico. Michael watching these B-tons, looking to get this frag. Louis going to come in, though, and he's going to stop that action, but not before Michael takes out Ace. 2v3 situation. Correction, 2v2. Arthur's going to go ahead and pick up a frag here at Box or uh, Barn, and Flame's going to be kind of creeping there over at the top here with Pease at the bottom. Bomb is down. Arthur's going to go ahead and peek over here. He's going to try to take one up. Pease is going to take a bomb. 2v1 situation. This is the for him. Bomb is going to be over. He's going to do anything to them at this point. This who kind of did give himself away there. He's pre-firing and giving that name. Bomb is going to be down. Lamb with 44 HP. Pease with 18. ZZXQ with 30 himself. So it's going to be very, it could be a close call here. to play the angles together. You can only shoot one person at a time. This is what I always stress in this type of situation. Lamb's going to peek on himself there. Pease is going to be here. Good job to get, as they pushed in together. That was good. At least one person didn't just chill in one spot. Well, one push. And then that's going to give Spray Ops the round. Nice job there. I'm going to go ahead and take over for David here while he uh, fixes his mic. Go ahead, Rick. Alright, okay. It does look like they will be favoring his B-side again. Switching the bombs between Ace and IPs. Trying to take this B while they have the chance. There's only one player in there, and I believe they, they might have the site. Arthur here just waiting very passively, playing the same spot, actually, that Drell played. Right in that lower B section. And Arthur with a nice little 2k. A little bit of a mistake here by IP is trying to fire in on that little happy box area. But it just was not working in his favor. No one was there. Arthur saw him from the back, heard him spray. What you think about that round there? Oh, it was a pretty solid round. It's a good hold by uh, Arthur there at the side playing that Dewey spot. As uh, it looks like uh, Scraps is taking his piece here. Yeah, it looks like they will try to take this B-side again. They saw that last time that it was pretty unpopulated. They didn't see anyone there. A little bit of some head jumping here between Ace and IPs. And it looks like they will try to peek out as Arthur comes in. A little bit of action here in this tunnel. And a multi-kill here by Terrell. What an amazing player in those tons. It was smoke. They came out and he took the shot and made all the connections. Will Drell be able to get a 5 day this round? There's 4. Will he get the 5th one? Spamming through that box at ZZXQ. Playing here very solid. Really wanting this 5k. He's hungry for it. But he just he gets... Good play by Drell there. Playing bomb. He did run the bomb. Yeah, he played the bomb very well. He almost got that 5th frag, but he was just... He got a little bit confused there. Out of which corner. And that does happen in that little corner from time to time. He has a very uh, non-selfish play, not going for that 5k to win the round for his team. Yes, definitely. He, he played the bomb, he, he tried for the 5k, but he definitely played the clock like he should have. Alright, I am back. Hopefully my mic is going to be okay. Um, 
We're gonna go ahead. It looks like he's gonna be starting off with a peek towards long A. The hero's gonna open up with a frag, but Pete is gonna go ahead and take him out in that process. 4v4 situation. Lou's gonna get a nade. Spray up. I'm sorry, Lou's gonna get a spray. Uh, nade over on uh, Undaunted. Correction there. Um, and it looks like it's two, 4v3 situation. He's gonna rotate over back to B long. Right now, not looking uh, too hot for Stray Ops, and they're gonna make their way towards Barn. Bomb, you know, they kind of separated at this point, trying to work frags, and Lou is gonna get a pick while, uh, over here in mid, as ZZXQ's there also. 4v2 situation, looking pretty good for Spray Ops at this point. And Michael Mike was just spotted by, by Louis. Uh, Michael playing inside that, that little fence corner, inside that B. Common spot that people play. They like to try to op and pick through those little cracks in the fence. But it just wasn't working for him in that situation. They didn't even go near that little area. And it does look like they will be trying to take this A site. Ace and IPs on top, holding it firmly down. This definitely looks like it's going to be in a favor for spray ops on this round. Michael with 72 HP only takes four bullets for four for uh, four heads. So let's see if he can do it. Smoke is going to be in spawn. Doesn't give him the opportunity to peek at the top. Smoke, nice smokes on by on uh, by spray ops, and it's going to really make him have to peek out here. He's going to take out Drell. That's going to be one v three situation for him now. 14 HP, but Ace is going to say, "Nope, all right, you're done. You got the shot on Drell, but not for me." It's going to make the rounds three to two. Now in favor of spray ops. Yeah, very very nice cover there by Louie. He, he understood, they made the call, he came around, wrapped around the back, and that was, like you said, that was a very good smoke there for the cross. They got across that long A position without anyone able to see him. Even if they were watching that bridge, it just would have been impossible. Undaunted gonna open up with some nice frags here to make it a 5v3 situation. Bomb for spray apps is gonna be over towards barn. Right now, it looks like they're going to try to work their picks on A as Lou is going to get a 2K on Delaco and Michael there on B. And now they have B site. Bomb is looking to make its way there, make it a 3v3 situation. Great comeback and great job by Undaunted. And now it's going to make it 3v3. The bomb's going to go in again. Planet ZZX is coming right behind. Oh, but he gets taken out nope. by Louie. Louie having some great cover for Ace there. Makes it 2v2. Lamb is kind of out of nowhere. He's going to come from behind with his SG-552 in hand. Ace is trying to do his best to hold him off, but he can't do too much. Hero's there. Oh, he's going to spray onto site. Lamb is by himself. Oh, and Hero's going to take him out. Oh, man. If Lamb was at the site with his team, he would have had that round. You need to be with your team or within the reach of your team to assist them, especially if you're going for a bomb plan. And, you know, Ace did a, a good job of trying to hold off as much as he can, but there wasn't too much he could do when you had two guys pushing him. Like I always say, you can only shoot one person at a time. Unless it is your it was luck who constantly gets the collateral with the AWP. <laughs> but as I said before, none of these players are not it was luck. Louis and they're most certainly. Let's see what Lamb has to offer here. Him and Louie holding this top of A. Hopefully we will see a, a rotate here. Hero here. Please go get the 2K. Lamb's going to have to say nope. Gel IPs and ace the whole team. Rotating towards that A, but not before ZZXQ gets on top. Tries to hold that position. Will he be able to see this player at the bottom of ladder? And no, he will not. Drell's going to be able to get that bomb down and bring it down to a 1v3 situation. Ace taking out Delico. Michael spotted on this bridge over here. This could be a comeback right now for Spray Ops. They're doing a good job at peeking together as a team when they are peeking. As you can see, Pease will peek over here by himself, and also his teams are right there next to him to make it. Spray Ops is going to get the round 4-3. to three. It's definitely a team that is aware of the frag trading, aware how it's supposed to be done, and just aware of the game sense. Spray Ops is going to have to keep this momentum going because right now they are almost at the close of being either being able to tie it. So they, if they get one more round, or Dante does, it could be a tie. Spray Ops needs to get this bomb down and get a couple more rounds here. But it looks like they can go ahead and rotate off of this B-Long as they aggressively pushed it and were able to take one out but lost one in the process too. And they're going to rotate back towards their spawn looking to possibly catch a rotate in this while they rotate out. And um, so far they don't see anybody. Great job to not get too overly aggressive on Undaunted's part. Could have taken out people in the process but they played together and they're playing back not giving them the opportunity to do so. Right now... P's and Louie and Ace are all pretty lit up. Ace with 53 HP, P's with 7, and Louie with 71. Louie's not too lit up there, but they did lose some damage on that push over at B Long. And, um, you know, right now, Undaunted is doing pretty well on HP, so let's see. 
And as you'll notice right now, the whole spray ops team is sticking together. That way they will, if they do encounter a team, they will be able to frag trade and they won't lose the bomb. They'll have someone able to pick it up and possibly able to pick out whoever is coming across them to do them any harm. Arthur here playing on top of this A site, spamming, crouch, and peeking every shot. Pretty common if you play this map. That is something you would definitely encounter. CZXQ is going to go ahead and try to do some work here in mid, but he's at 69 HP now, peaking about four, three people at this time. Um, and he, they weren't able to get the shot on him, but Lamb is able to pick up a shot over on Arthur to take him out over at A now. And it looks like the team's going to make the call for A, and Lamb's going to get another nice headshot on ZDXQ from Bridge, making a 3v2 situation. He, Hero's going to get the 2k, so he's going to go for the 2k, but he gets too excited. There's going to make a 2v1, and Lou is going to take up Michael, and that's going to make it it for that round. 5-3, to three. Spray Ops on a roll right now like they need to be to possibly even win and take this match. Definitely, and if you notice, both of those players got separated on, on uh, both sides, and that's something that, that could either hurt you or really hurt you, or, uh, excuse me, it could hurt you or really cause in your favor. Because you want to spread out, but when it comes to something like that, a 2v1 situation, you want to be within reach of each other. Just want to point out, Louis definitely the player to watch for spray ops. He has some very nice shots, and a lot of times his shots hit, and he does really well and gets those opening frags that allow his teams, to his team, to move somewhere. As you can see here in mid, he's going to take out ZZXQ, has 40 HP left, and Hero's going to get um, take out Lamb in the uh, long A now. So it's going to be a 4v4. It's always kind of coming down to like you know one on one on one pick on each team, and it looks like it's just that's how it's staying for consistency. You know, usually people are picking up the frags. So, but it looks like right now on uh, spray ops is going to make the way towards long B, create some noise, maybe possibly make a rotate in place, but Michael is here on B side. Actually, no, they're not going to take B, they're going to go ahead and move towards connector. Delecto is going to take one out, but Ace is going to go ahead and pick up that frag, and it's going to make it 3v3. Like I said, it's just kind of one person's going out, one person going out, you know, just, you know, see how it goes from there. Yeah, not, probably not their best choice going through that B area. It was pretty heavily guarded from the tons and from the site. Michael just sitting there behind that double stack box. Waiting for someone to come through that B barn and hopefully trying to get maybe a spam shot through that box. A side is definitely a side of choice right now with it being open and Hero just watching mid. Two guys are on B side, so right now it's very crucial that they hopefully take A side. Um, so Spray Ops only has less than a minute on the clock to make a decision on where they want to go. They left bomb down and they're going to go ahead and pick it up. Yeah, and that's also, as I said many times, that's a very wise move from the team. You leave it somewhere within the spawn that you can grab, and if the player dies, He's, he's not going to lose any C4. He's not going to put the team at too much of a disadvantage. So they can always go back and grab that and rotate. Something that I have to point out too is I, I, I commend um, Undaunted for standing together as a team and not having that one guy at sight because that one guy at sight, getting him ki him getting killed, can make it a 2v3 situation. And right now they have three people to take on three at A site while the bomb just got planted. Definitely. A uh, very, very wise choice to stick together, especially when you're in a situation like this. And now they're all going to come from the CTC is going to be at the top half of the advantage. But Hero's going to get the 2k. It's really important. Louis is going to go ahead and chill behind the box there at Bike Brit. He's going to try to defuse the bomb. Louis is going to get one. Oh, he had the defuse, but he didn't go for it. Louis is going to get the 2k. Oh, gosh, Louis. <laughs> wow, Hero had that, but he didn't realize how far Louis was out. Possibly miscommunication from the team, but he had the defuse. 6-3. to three. Spray Ops is not out of this just yet. This is a very close match and very important round right here because this will determine whether or not Spray Ops wins or can tie. I'm going to step back in here for David while he uh, fixes his mic again because it, it's so messed up pretty bad, David. Go ahead, Rick. Yeah, David, you're having a little bit of some audio technical difficulties, but we'll get that all worked out. And like you said, this is a very pivotal round right now for Spray Ops. If they win this, that could mean between a tie or them not having to play again. Ace being taken out by Mike. Both players, Louie and Lamb, Playing on side this side very passively, and it all comes down to a 2v1 situation. ZZXQ. Wow. That's and that w. will be the win. That's the W, ladies and gentlemen. Spray Ops here with the win. I don't know if you caught that last round, Rick, but uh, ZZXQ missed a really easy 2k. They were not looking at him at all, and he missed about 15 bullets. And that may have caused him that round. Definitely could have caused him the round and possibly even the whole land. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break, guys. Uh, I think we have some upper bracket action coming up pretty soon here, so uh, stay tuned.